We don't want you, you in every up. shot. Oh, okay. You get the close up the whole Because we don't want you in every shot. That's right. I just stayed at two <laughs> shots. I just stayed twos over here and all close ups on you that way. <laughs> so, do you know Delta Burke? <laughs> Saturday Night Live was funny last night. They oh, Rosie was on last yeah, night. She was great. They had I've a whole, got to take they had a whole yeah. gig in the audience where the people stand up and say, "Now, when you left designing women, things were bad." And then, oh, that was wrong one. They stood up and said, "Now, I loved you in Misery," and it was great. Oh, oh really? Yeah. And, and all these things yeah. are like yeah, that. Was so, Rosie, we oh, we're, we're going. Yeah. We're going. Take a quick sip. It's a Coke commercial. Did My Robin life. misbehave and make you blow your lines or anything while you were uh, shooting with him? What lines? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, we, 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 when I arrived on the set, Chris Columbus said, this is the script. Do it once the way I wrote it, and then you and Robin can do whatever you want for an hour on every shot. We had an hour on every shot to do whatever we wanted. So almost everything that you're seeing is improvised. Hmm. So no, I mean, we worked together. Um, and, and so no, there was no, we just went off and did. Do you feel like you're always the straight man with Robin, or does he let you kind of have your little life? I've never been the straight man. I don't know how, I've acted. I played a couple of straight <laughs> roles in my life, but no, I don't know how to do that. But, uh, that was a little good job. Uh, oh. Now you, got, ah, you ah. got this role in a very interesting way, I understand. You asked for it, which is a, yeah. why not? Yeah, I mean, why not be honest? No, I mean, I listen, I've been in this business since uh, a long time, and I have never, ever, ever gotten a role I auditioned for. I've auditioned for a lot of stuff and I've read for a lot of roles. I have never, I am the world's worst auditioner. Hand me a script, I've blown the role. But I, whenever I ask or I go in and I meet or whatever, I, I get the role and they always want to work with me again. This is a funny movie. It's really one of the funniest ones I've seen in a long time. Robin yeah. just gets better and better and better. What did you think of the movie overall? I laughed, I cried, I peed my pants. <laughs> That's true. It does have a little bit of everything. Yeah, no, it does. But when he it's gets you to a point, and I don't know if you've ever been affected by him this way, it's only happened to me with uh, Jay Leno a long time ago and Robin. He builds you up to a certain point where you're almost laughing at anything, and he just makes you weak. He beats you down. Where you're mm -hmm. so funny, you're just like hurting it after a while. Did he ever get you, or has he ever gotten you where you just hurt after a while with him? Oh, I, you mean as a fan, as opposed as a to fan working or with just him? As a yeah, fan. I love, I love, I love, uh, I love watching him. I always have, uh, you know, mm -hmm. ever since uh, Happy Days. I used to tune it in to see if if Mork would be appearing on Happy Days. So yeah, I've, I've always been a big fan of his, and and I enjoy. But no, I I'm not that big a laugher. I don't laugh so it I'm not either. Oh, really? I'm, I mean, I'm like Secret Service agents you would never and morticians. Know. You would, I'm not a real big laugh. You know, you do have a certain mortician look. Yes, I have do. You work, have, you, have you worked to get that up? That's oh, no, Elvis, stop that's that. That's my Elvis impersonator. That scares me. Uh, oh, he scared me. Uh, it wasn't well, just the tie. It was yeah, him, too. it was just the tie. Thank you very much. Now, you're a producer and a director on your own, aren't you? I never produced. No, I, I never directed. some things on your own. No, I write. You're a writer. I, yes. I thought, well, I, th I thought you had directed some theater or something like no, that. No, no, no. I, don't I, have that in you? What? I haven't been given the chance. Director. No, I don't want to stay late. Directors have to come early and stay late, and I don't have the patience. I don't have the time. I have things to do. So, no, I, I just I stick to acting and writing. You know, a lot of people are going to see this movie. This is probably going to be your most commercial film ever. I mean, millions and millions and millions of people are going to recognize you. Are you prepared for uh, that type of... I know you have a lot of fame now, but I mean, little kids are going to run up the street and point at yeah. you. Wow. Well, you, you deal with it, you know. Um, whenever I do... I've done, uh, I think, seven Arsenio Hall shows now. Whenever I do Arsenio, I know exactly who watches Arsenio by who recognizes me on the street or whatever. Mm. When I do, um, you know, when I was on Cheers, all of a sudden every... every um, uh, college kid knew who I was when I walked down the street. It's kind of fascinating, you know. Um, as a writer, I do like to be inconspicuous. I like to sit places and listen to people talk. But I found places to go that, you know, and ways to sit that people don't recognize you and you can still listen because I have to hear. I need a constant drama going on around me. I have to hear how people talk and what they're talking about and all that in order to be a writer. So you, you just find different ways. You do a movie like, like this or you appear on television or, or whatever, obviously people are going to recognize you. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the, the strangest thing is like when you're on the news, you know, somebody, somebody ran over your kid and then all of a sudden people want your autograph. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a strange kind of fame. But our kind of fame, we get paid for it. And... Uh, 
so it's, you know, it's part of the business. How would you describe your career path? Straight line, bumpy road, a lot mm. of curves? Yeah, lots of curves. I mean, but I don't, I don't have a career plan. I don't want a career. I mean, I have my degrees in painting. I'm a painter. I act and write on the side. Uh, they happen to pay the bills mm -hmm. because I don't paint well enough to make the money that way. But I, I do what I want, you know. I garden, I cook. Um, I consider them all my arts and all ways that I spend my life. I've got to ask you about your voice. I mean, has it always been this way? It's a great voice, very unique. Yes, as a little baby, even I laid as a three-year-old, you were. <laughs> no, it it changed in puberty. It changed in puberty. But a great voice, very unique. Uh, yes, and that's how you know. Ellen G. Coming. Robinson, you, know, you could play the great heavy. Yeah, I could. I think that'll be my next role. Edward G. Robinson, mean guy. the life story. Yes, Harvey Firestein as the mean guy. <laughs> Harvey Firestein is Edward, Edward G. G. Robinson. Robinson. Nice seeing you again. <laughs> I'll have to get a cigar from Chris Columbus and That's do right. it. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Got the air conditioner back on. Air conditioner fan.